I know you haven't heard from me for a while. Real quick little update. I moved. This is the first video that I am filming in my new apartment. And I've just been so busy that even though I filmed some things, they just never made it up. You know, with the getting ready to move and then the moving and then getting it all together. It was... I really... I can't say it was a nightmare, but it was very fast. Anyway, so I had to make an order because a friend had a birthday. So I thought that I would show you the stuff that I got for me. This is a Geek Chic haul. This is my second Geek Chic haul. And so I got a bunch of samples and the lipstick that you are looking at right now. So I'm going to start there. This is Sweet Transvestite. And that's the packaging, and it's upside down. And if you look really close, you see that? The, the heels, the pearls. So for those of you who don't know, this is a um, reference to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. The song, one of the most famous songs from it, is called Sweet Transvestite. And so, it's just a really pretty red. I love red. I never wear it. I always wear neutral colors, but I love red. But anyways, I'm not going to swatch this one because I'm wearing it. But, um, oh, it smells like buttercream. I love it. Okay, so on to the eyeshadows. The first thing I got was Naked Wedding. Beautiful purple. Cherie, I bet... If you don't have it, this is calling your name. Okay, let's see how my lighting is washing it out. There we go. And it's just a beautiful kind of an orchidy color. It's absolutely just stunning. I can't wait to play with that. I do love my purples. Although, yet again, I'm always wearing neutrals, so I don't know. So, the next one I have is called Battle Dress. And this is a beautiful kind of a peachy color. Battle dress is more of a satiny finish. And that's that one right there. And Naked Wedding is got it's it's got a sheen to it. There are tiny, tiny, tiny little sparkles in it. The next one I got is called Guiding Star. It's another purple. It's just a really pretty dark smoky purple. And that is Guiding Star. It's right there. It's a dark, smoky purple. The next one I have is called Ambassador. Now, this is from a collection that I have been drooling over since the first minute I discovered Geek Chic. This is from their Firefly collection. It's called Big Damn Heroes. And this is the color for Inara. So, little backstory if you've never watched Firefly, which I truly believe that you should. Inara, now in Firefly, there's a lot of Chinese culture. You see this? This is kind of reddish, kind of. It's almost. Uh, it's kind of reddish, but almost like a reddish mauve. It's very interesting and unique. For Inara's character, um, like I said, there's a lot of Chinese culture, and they have what is the, um, essentially, they're like geishas. Um, they are trained in an academy, and all these different things, and that is so gorgeous, and that's got a metallic sheen to it. Look at that. That is Ambassador. And, um, but they are called, they are called Ambassadors. And so, um... But they are, they are like, you know, geishas. And it's legal. And um, actually, you're not, if you have a spaceship, and they have spaceships, but if you dock somewhere and you don't have a companion that is registered, you know, with, you know, the government or whatever, a lot of um, planets won't even let you dock there. Like, it opens doors for you. Um, but, uh, yeah. So that's for Inara. Uh, the next one I have is called Blood Wine. 
These are such unique colors. It's got, I see gray and gold. Oh, and I see a red flash. Can you check that out? There is, it's beautiful. It's almost like a, oh, these are just so beautiful. I suck at describing colors, but I see a red flash. There is, it's like a smoky, definitely smoky with the gray. Almost like a smoky peach with a red flash. I may be completely making that up. Okay, the next one is Mischief Managed. This is from their Harry Potter collection, Wizards and Wizardry. I'm not sure if that's going to focus. Almost like a, a dirt color with green sparkles, but it's gorgeous. I hope this lighting is not washing everything out. Look at that. I don't know if you can see how pretty that is, but that glibbery stuff... Glibbery. That glittery stuff is green. Um, if I can get the right... Oh, it's so beyond gorgeous. But it's almost like... It's... I see... I, I could be imagining it, but I think I see copper in there. Oh, it's so beautiful. You just need to go to Geek Chic and look at that stuff. But anyway, I'm hoping these are showing up good. So the next one I have is another from the Firefly Collection. This is Inevitable Betrayal. And this is a reference to... Um, I think in the very early parts, Wash is the pilot, and he's almost like a big kid. He's like Joss Whedon, who is the creator. He's just like a big kid. And he's playing with dinosaurs, and um, one of them betrays the other in his little game, and he goes, curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. It's just great. There's even a shirt. It has dinosaurs on it, and I think I want it. Yes, I am a geek. <laughs> This is a beautiful green. Almost mossy, but not dark. It's more like a medium tone. There's a good shot of everything, except for the green's not showing up on this one, but look at that. Okay, the next one I have is called Anarchist Priest. OMG, I see eyeliner. Look at that beautiful, bright, vibrant blue. Yeah, that is right there. To... That is what it looks like with shadow over it. That's actually what it looks like in real life. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, I'm gonna go get a make wipe my hand back. Okay, so the next one I have is called He's Eating Them. I think this is one of the newer colors. It's a red color. I'm in love with these red colors. There's one from the, um, the Walking Dead collection. Uh, this, ain't, this isn't a conspiracy. A democracy. This isn't a democracy. But this is another one of those. It's almost like a reddened purple. It's so pretty. And every time I say Sher every time that I say purple, I'm sure that Cherie's ears perk up. And this is, as far as I can see, a matte. Or if it is, it's got the smallest amount of sheen ever. There we go. That's beautiful. I could see that in neutral looks. There's one I think it's called. He's Korean. I think is the one. But it's a reddened color, and you look at it, and I was so afraid of it. And then I put it in my crease one day, a little brown in the outer. Beautiful. Another one from the Firefly collection. Uh, that is Captain Tight Pants. And that is Mal's color. Mal is played by Nathan Fillion, and I always say that's my future husband right there. Especially if he would dress up like Mal. Oh, yes. Oh, you guys are probably thinking I'm insane. So there's, and that is the exact color, that yellow, mustardy, gold kind of color. That's the color of the paint. Let's see here. There we go. There's that. That's Captain Top Pants right there. 
The next one is Storm Crow. I think this is, and I didn't mention all of them because some of them I overlooked which ones they're from and I've just noticed that it's listed right there. I'm smart. This is called Storm Crow. I think this is one of the Lord of the Rings colors. Um, it says Fellowship. I think that's one of the Lord of the Rings colors. And I got this because this is kind of neutral if my memory serves. Oh, beauteous. It's so pretty. It's kind of like a taupey, like a warm taupe. Let me shade that so you can actually see it. But see, it's just a pretty, kind of a dark color. Like I said, it's like a taupe. Um, it's a touch on the warm side. I think there's some gold in it. Okay, this is another one from the Firefly Collection. This is called Little Albatross. This is River's color. River is... River special. We love River. River is my favorite character. Um, she's extremely intelligent. So intelligent that these people from the government kidnapped her and did experiments on her. And she's kind of psychic. And now she's kind of crazy and kind of psychic and extremely, extremely off the charts intelligent. And some, and sometimes nobody understands what she's talking about. You know, she'll be like two by two, hands of blue, and they're like, okay, she's crazy, shut her up. And then later on, you'll you'll see like a flash somewhere else completely, and people are doing experiments on something, and they're wearing blue gloves. You know, things like that. But anyways, and that is a beautiful steel blue color. I think that would be great for a smoky eye. I've done those. Um, I've done brown smoky eyes, burgundy. I've done blue ones, gray ones. But this is kind of a steely gray, I guess. Or a blue. I don't know. To me, it's kind of a... There's blue in it, so we're just going to call it steely blue. Look at that. That is so pretty. This one is Very Fine Hat. This is another, um, this is another one from the fire. It's really dark. I got this for either liner or smudge eyeliner or, you know, that kind of thing. Or, you know, obviously smoky. This is a black, or uh, maybe even a dark brown, but look at that. Can you see the green? They're like olivey green shimmer. Is that helping at all? Probably not. It's so I'm going to stop saying that, I promise. Okay. And then we have one more. This is called Professional Curiosity. This one is also almost like a taupe, but it's got some... Let me swatch it, because I just saw these on the website and went, okay, pretty. Anyway, let me show you that. This is definitely a beautiful, almost lilac. There are some royal blue. I did that really close intentionally. There's, you see where that blue is in there? Do you see that right there? That is blue shimmers. Um, I see some kind of a duochrome, but it's on a lilac base. It's so, so gorgeous. I can't wait to play with all of this stuff. Um, so, but thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.